Hello and welcome to Ricky Raceway for round 23 of the Bass Pro Shops Cup Series Season 5. Now, last week I failed so many times thinking that it was round 23 at Phoenix. Turns out that was only round 22. Or sorry, that was at New Hampshire. <laughs> I keep failing. Okay, so this is round 23 here at Ricky Raceway. So, the drivers that we thought were done, they still got a shot at this because they have three races instead of two, like I thought originally. And look at this. On the pole, this is critical, is Danny Wells. He finds himself his himself fourth in points. He's pretty far out of the championship, though, and that's the thing that's going to hurt him the most. So if he can really have a nice comeback in these last three races, he's going to have a shot at this thing. Alongside him is, on the front row, Corey Williams. Third is DJ. Fourth is Greg Jones, and running out your top five is Julie Stewart. Sixth, Brett Pavel. Seventh. Jack Richards, 8th, Connor Breton, ninth, John Acosta, and running out your top 10, hometown hero, Andrew Schwartz, here in Canada. Quebec, Canada, to be exact. So let's get the rest of your starting lineup for Ricky Raceway. 11th, 12th, 13th, 14th, 15th, 16th, 17th, 18th, 19th, 20th, 21st, 22nd, 23rd, 24th, 25th, 26th, 27th, 28th, 29th, 30th, 31st, 32nd, 33rd, 34th, 35th, 36th, 37th, 38th, 39th, 40th, 41st, 42nd, 43rd, 44th, 45th, 46th, 47th, 48th, 49th, 40th, 41st, and 42nd. This last row makes no sense. Last week's winner, Garrett Jones and John Worry. Those two drivers are off a lot of momentum, but somehow they start last uh, in the final row, I should say. So Carter Kozlowski, you saw him, he starts 24th. Now, with his championship position, this race could benefit him in a huge way, or it could hurt him in a huge way. And, uh, yeah, it looks like everybody got rolling just fine, and they did. Look how long this backstretch is. Wow, that's incredible. So we will see tandem racing today, and that is probably what's going to trigger what we call the big one, or the big ones. Plural, because... On all these restarts that we're going to have, we're going to have tandem racing, and it's probably going to end in tears for a lot of drivers. And if it's a championship driver, others better be ready to pounce on it, because this might be their only shot at going after this championship realistically. So coming out of turn number four, we're going to go to a track very similar to this for the finale. That is Daytona. Coming down for the green flag, Danny Wells trying to help himself out in the championship. He's helped himself by uh, being on the pole for this race and being ahead of all the carnage that will be happening. As we work our way down towards turn number one. Surprisingly, we made it this far. <laughs> and oh, CJ on the apron! And I'm sure he merged back up. Oh, that might have... Oh my, did we save that? It would very much surprise me if we did, and the caution is out. Oh, I see John Worry with some damage. Oh, we got more trouble. Connor Breton is in it. Cole Fralick. Courtney Simpson approaching it. Oh, Carter Kozlowski. Uh-oh. Caution has come out. And... Keslowski through the grass. I believe he got through it. And he is scored 16. So the caution has come out for the first time today on lap one here at Ricky Raceway. Many crashes have happened. Let's get a replay of them. All right, here is the first problem of the day. I believe it was, oh, it was Phil. Phil Jones and CJ got, or er, Dehan got together. CJ got involved in the crash. And, oh, man. Oh, Carter Kozlowski got damage in this. We did not see that the first time. I don't know if Worry got anything or not. Steven Dillon, third in points. I don't think he got much. So crash on the back stretch, but then there was more. So what happened further up? I believe it was probably right here. Yeah, I think I saw Breton in the crash. In fact, yeah, there he is. Oh, uh, Seth Cole. Oh, he. Oh, wow. Oh, Julie Stewart took a hard hit. And from this crash, it's the flare, and then I think they're done. And it is. Oh, wow. That's incredible. 
Oh, she hits the inside wall. Richards. Oh, wow. That's a hard lick. About a five car wreck there. And then let's see, because I saw Kozlowski coming into. Oh, Julie flipped right over the wall. And okay, yeah, Carter Kozlowski did not get any damage in it after, but what happened to Amon? Oh, he was trying to get through it, and he hit Richards. Oh wait, no, he hit Acosta hard. Oh, Hunter Stone, Summers almost got through that, but he got clobbered. And now, th oh, there's more carnage. Are you kidding me? <laughs> Oh, it's Seth Cole again. That's about the fifth time he's last two races. It's just so disappointing for him. Oh, Phil Jones. Oh, what was Phil Jones doing? He just merged right in front of him. And uh, Seth Cole pretty much ended his season with that crash because it's going to hurt him a lot more in the championship as he fell to eighth after last week. Doesn't look like he's going to be able to uh, catch an up any points considering Kozlowski got through this. Make sure he didn't wreck under caution, and I don't think he did. So, caution is out for the first time today here at Ricky Raceway, and we will get you back to the green flag. The pace car lights are off, so let's get you set for the restart. Restarting on point is DJ Sorensen, then Danny Wells, John Dillon, CJ Sorensen, Courtney Simpson, Joseph Bryant, Garrett Jones, Kurt Kozlowski, Mitch Speed and Matthew McMurray. And <laughs> wow. Garrett Jones. Whoa. He started dead last and he's up to seventh after just one lap. <laughs> wow, that's crazy. Okay, let's check on these championship boys. Henley, Seth Cole, they're both in the race there, 25th and 26th. All right, Carter Kozlowski is 22nd. Worry is 15th, Steven is 14th, and who knows what's going to happen from here because it's completely unpredictable. We, it, the only thing that's predictable is that we're going to have more crashes, and Danny Wells could be in front of all of it along with DJ. They are 4th and 6th in points. I would not give up hope on these two leaders yet. Same with CJ. Uh, CJ Sorensen is 7th in the standings. Tied with brother DJ. They both have 526 points. Realistically, it looks like Steven Dillon, uh, John Warren, and Carter Kozlowski are your three main contenders because uh, Steven and Danny Wells, third and fourth. Uh, Steven is 35 points ahead of Danny. So, a very weird season when it comes to the points. And uh, might just benefit Carter Kozlowski more than anybody. Of course, Worry is outrunning him right now. So, that's very good for him. Here we go, coming back down to the green flag. DJ Sorensen and Danny Wells trying to turn their seasons around and go for the championship. Green flag waves again. These last three races are complete wild cards. Anything can and will happen. John Dillon to the inside for second. Will Kurt Kozlowski work with Carter Kozlowski? And I don't think he will be able to because Carter's so far back and he's got damage. So Carter Kozlowski has damage and it's going to slow him down a lot. Same with Andrew Schwartz. Here's Lawler. Lawler is up to 10th and points. We got a crash. John Worry is in it. Carter Kozlowski comes plowing in and he... He missed it. Oh, yes, he hit Galligan. <laughs> yes. And he's done. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> Woo. Okay, that's really good. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. And I think Worry is still in this race. What a turn of events for the championship as Carter Kozlowski is in the crash and John Worry isn't. That's amazing. And right there, their deficit in points. Oh, my goodness. Carter Kozlowski right now sitting 26th. He's 16 points ahead of John Worry. Now, look at where Worry is. 10th. That's 16 points. Wow. What a turn of events in this championship as Julian Ortiz got wrecked. Ortiz has really turned a season around in these last few races. He's the first driver that is unable to win the championship, so he can go all out. He's 16th in points. Let's get a replay. All right, then. Here it is. Garrett Jones and Courtney Simpson make contact. Then Simpson hits the inside wall. I don't think she hit it, but she came back up and merged, and that's what caused the crash. And oh, wow, what a wreck. 
Stephen Dillon got through that. That is critical for the championship. Worry got some damage. But Galligan, his teammate, clobbered him. And that is Carter Kozlowski's season right there. That, that could have just pretty much taken him out of the championship. By no means he's out of it now, but with Worry still in this race, it's definitely going to be a big upset for Carter Kozlowski. Because who knows, Worry is going to restart 10th, but he could work his way to maybe even the win. That or he could fall to about 17th and actually not lose as many points to uh, that number 39. So anything is going to happen. We keep saying it, but anything can and will happen in these final few events. So, yep. My hyper reaction to myself getting crashed. And uh, I just, I, it'd be cool to win the championship in my own series, but that would not be something that I'd like to have happen at the same time. So, pace car is out, and uh, DJ is going to lead him to the green. Let's get to that. The pace car lights are out, and we're getting set to go back racing. DJ Sorensen, John Dillon, CJ. Danny Wells and Kyle Smith, your top five. Then Stephen Dillon, Matthew McMurray, Mitch Speed, John Worry, Dion Petty, your top ten. Then Sean Henley, Seth Cole, Alex Filter, Garrett Jones, your top fourteen. And that's the only, those are the only cars left in the field. So, with that, unofficially, Carter Kozlowski scored 26th out of the race. Worry is scored, I believe, what was it, eighth or something? Ninth. Okay, so that's actually more of a gain. That is 17 points. Officially, John Worry is the point leader. But you can't er you can't forget Stephen Dillon. He's running sixth. He gains 20 points on Carter Kozlowski, and that puts him within I be within I believe one race. Ex no, no, he's 45 points out of it right now, and Carter Kozlowski is. Uh, He's, he's 45 points short of Carter Kozlowski right now, and you can gain 44 in one race. So he's not technically within one race just yet, but if he can make one pass on this restart or even go for the win, he's going to be able to get within one race with two races to go. So the possibility of Steven Dillon winning this championship is still very much alive. And same with Danny Wells. If Danny can get a good run here today, he might just be able to pull through with these last two races. So Carter Kozlowski, he's obviously out of this race. What if he wrecks at Phoenix, which is a very big possibility, and what if he wrecks at Daytona? That's a possibility. John Worry could wreck in these races. Steven Dillon could wreck in these last few. What's going to happen in these last 10 laps is completely unpredictable from here at, here at Ricky Raceway. Coming down to take the green flag, DJ Sorensen and John Dillon lead him to the green flag. And the Sorensen brothers, they are probably going to work together, DJ and CJ. DJ and CJ Sorensen, but actually CJ's working with John Worry. And, or not John Worry, what am I saying? John Dillon. I keep saying John Worry because he's a championship contender, and I've been talking about the contender so much you know, with these last few races. And look at these two boys right here. John Worry and Steven Dillon, they're not going to give up. They're going to help each other. But when it comes to Daytona, they're not going to be working together at all. Because they know that those, well, John Worry knows that besides Carter Kozlowski, Stephen Dillon is mainly his only threat other than maybe Danny Wells. Oh, Kyle Smith up the track. DJ Sorensen, the lead pack is taken out. Stephen Dillon and John Worry get around it. That is even more points that Carter Kozlowski is going to lose out on. And John Dillon, DJ is involved in this. DJ had a shot at this as the pace guards judge right on through him. DJ was sixth. DJ, that could have just taken him out of the championship. And these two leaders, look at the three leaders. They're all in the top five in the standings. You got Danny fourth, Steven third, and John Worry is now your point leader. So this championship has just flipped upside down here at Ricky Raceway. Let's get a replay of what happened to take out all of the leaders. All right, let's take a look at this. DJ Sorensen, oh my goodness. Uh, oh, Matthew, oh, Kyle Smith went up to work with DJ, but then Matthew McMurray hooks him, and they all hit very hard, especially DJ. Oh, Kyle Smith took a lick. Wow. Ch this is the, th probably the biggest turn of events that we've seen this season with 
championship contenders, one, two, three, and Carter Kozlowski, 26th out of the race, it's anybody's championship w that is within, really, the top five. Of course, Henley's out of the race, and that might just take him out of the championship. No, he's still in this race. Wow. <laughs> and Garrett Jones could go for two in a row. CJ still in this. Wow. We are getting set for one of the best races of the season when it comes down to about 10 drivers for these last, more than likely, about five or six laps when we go back racing. So we will see you for the restart. All right, restarting with s on lap 17 of 20. Danny Wells, Stephen Dillon, John Worry, Matthew McMurray, and Mitch Speed, your top five. Then Dion Petty, CJ Sorensen, Garrett Jones, Sean Henley, and Alex Filter, your top ten. Seth Cole, Kyle Smith, and John Dillon are left in the race. We are going to restart with four to go here at Ricky Raceway. Will we make it to the checkered, or will we make it to the yellow flag? Who knows? Could be both. Coming down to the green flag. The top three are in championship contention. Matthew McMurray, 41st in points. He runs fourth. It's anybody's race here at Ricky Raceway, and this is probably going to be a race that is going to go down in history in the Bass Pro Shops Cup Series. It's probably the biggest game changer. Now, these guys, they know Carter Kozlowski's out of the race, but they got to make sure John Worry, you know, is uh, behind them when we come to the checkered flag because who knows? It could, st I mean, John is now the new point leader. So he's, I mean, Carter Kozlowski's been the target these last few races, and now John Worry's going to be the target for the last two. And coming off a of turn four, looks like we're going to make it this lap, but I don't know how much further than that we're going to make it. Coming to the three to go. And look at Matthew McMurray going for his second win of the year. He has nothing to lose. He's 41st in points. Steven Dillon gets a big push from the 39 of John Worry. Now, if he turns Steven, that's going to be huge in the championship. It might just happen because these tandem, uh, these tandem race, this tandem drafting is just so treacherous. All right, there. Uh, all right, then. There's Henley. Henley battling with Kyle Smith and John Dillon, who were working together when that crash happened. And coming to two to go. Oh, boy. <laughs> Here comes Matthew McMurray. He leads the field with two laps remaining at his home track. Stephen Dillon in second, going for his fifth win of the year. And helping himself in the championship, Danny Wells runs third. John Worry fourth. Of the top five, four of them could potentially be the champion of season five of the Bass Pro Shops Cup Series. Coming to the white flag, Matthew McMurray, the hometown hero, is trying to bring it home for all the Canadians. Off of four, he doesn't have a tandem buddy, though. Three different makes run one, two, three. Toyota, Chevy, Ford, white flag from Ricky Raceway. We're going to make it to the checkered flag, but who knows if we're going to have a crash or not. John Worry has no help. He runs fourth. Coming to the back straightaway. Can Stephen Dillon capture his fifth win of the season as we come down the back stretch? McMurray leads the field through the final two corners. Stephen Dillon tries to go high with Danny Wells. They're going to have to cross over when we come out of four, but it's not going to be enough. Coming to the checkered flag, Matthew McMurray, the hometown hero, is going to win at Ricky Raceway in the championship, has just been flipped upside down. What a crazy race at Ricky Raceway that has taken out Carter Kozlowski. He's going to finish 26th. That's a 22-point gain. John Worry will be six points ahead with two more races to go. And that is huge. Steven Dillon, on the other hand, he finished second. And uh, he picked up 24 points on the leader, Carter Keselowski. But the bad thing is, John Worry was very close to Steven in the finishing order, who is the new point leader. So who knows who's going to win the championship from here. And look at Garrett Jones. He ended up eighth. Two top tens in a row. Great job by him. Kyle Smith, Sean Henley, John Dillon, Seth Cole, Alex Filter. I still would not quite count out Seth Cole. It's just not a great possibility of that 89 car bringing home the championship for Faith Motorsports. So let's get to your finishing results. Wow, what a race.
Matthew McMurray wins it. Stephen Dillon, Danny Wells, John Worry, C.J. Sorensen, your top five. Then Mitch Speed, Dion Petty, Garrett Jones, Kyle Smith, and John Dillon, the top ten. Sean Henley, Seth Cole, Alex Filter. Congratulations to all of those drivers for just finishing this race. Because over, I believe it's about three-quarters of the field did not finish. 14th to 42nd did not finish this race. Eric Burton finished last. And yeah, Carter Kozlowski ended up 26th. So his championship has just taken a big turn for the worst as uh, it looks like it could very well be John Dillon's championship. Why do I keep calling John Worry John Dillon and John Dillon John Worry? I don't know. <laughs> this could be John Worry's championship now because Carter Kozlowski just lost how many points to him? I forgot. It was like 16. Uh... 22. Oh, wow. Yeah. 22 points of a loss for Carter Kozlowski. Now John Worry, six points ahead of that number 30. So these last few races are going to be probably the most intense of the Bass Pro Shops Cup Series. The inaugural race at New Hampshire, the inaugural race at Ricky Raceway, and then we are heading off to Phoenix and Daytona tracks that a lot of these drivers have a lot of experience at. So we're going to go to the final two races with a new point leader, John Worry, and we will see you at Phoenix, and this time it is going to be Phoenix and not Ricky Raceway. So we'll see you next week for round 24.